Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a totally unedited recording of this white mature cataract. Let us observe this surgery. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS. And now this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about three clock hours away from the main incision. And now an air bubble is injected and beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this white mature cataract. And now the dye is washed out using a 23G Simco and BSS. And now is the time to do Capsulorexis. 2% SPMC has been used to fill up the anterior chamber. And now I'm going to do spiral rexis in this case. Scratch the capsule, raise a tag and go anti-clockwise and gradually go to periphery there is a chance of rexis run out in this case because there was convexity of the anterior capsule and this is actually a pre intumescent cataract. And now, very a little bit of hydrodissection was done in this case because the lens is almost free. We just had to mobilize the nucleus. Some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 from Switzerland. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and in this case I divided the nucleus with the bevel down, with the bevel of the fecconidal facing the vitreous cavity. But there is no risk of holding the posterior capsule because there is always some portion of the nucleus between the tip of the phaco needle and the posterior capsule. So the nucleus has been divided into four pieces and now I turn the handpiece, make the bevel up towards the cornea and then start emulsifying the pieces. From the very beginning, the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And ultrasonic energy used is 70%. We are almost through. This is the last nuclear fragment. At this time, we can decrease the parameter if the chamber is not very stable. But in this case, the chamber was very stable and more stability can be obtained by removing the chopper from the anterior chamber. Because the leakage from the side ports stop and the anterior chamber becomes more stable. And now some cortical matter is there. I'm going to use this instrument. This is a 23 goes Simco for removal of the cortex. The cortex from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock is being removed by the Simco going through the main wound. And now I go through the right side port and remove the cortex from the 
right side that is from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And now, in this case, I am going to use a B cartridge for implantation of the intraocular lens. And so, I am going to enlarge the main wound to about 3 mm. If we don't do this, the lens may get stuck at the wound because in, those in, the in, in that case, we have to use wound assisted delivery and the optic can get stuck at the wound and then the wound gets stressed too much. And if we use a C cartridge, we don't need to enlarge the main wound, but in that case the optic get the optic of the intraocular lens gets compressed too much. And now the lens is in the bag. The side ports are being closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, a gentle stream of PSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium and the visco sticking to the corneal endothelium gets dislodged. And then, after thorough cleaning of the visco, antechamber is nicely formed. The intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side of the normal. And then the integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Learn to do spiral rexis in some cases. In some cases, this is very useful. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.